Yo, what is up guys? It's Zard here and today we're doing another one of the commentary style videos like I did with the Lizzo lawsuit because you guys seem to like that. I mean, I thought it wasn't going to do that good, but apparently it, it was around the same views as the rest of my videos. So I think we're going to keep it up with these types of videos. And today we're going to be covering a few things because there's a, a few things going on, a few stories, a few things that are popping right now. And we're going to start first off with my story about Guinness Book of World Records. You all remember them, right? From Plastic School Fairs, you know? Yeah, you guys all remember these, the Guinness Book of World Records, remember? We all still all go in there and we'd beg our fucking moms to buy the overpriced books. Well, they're in the news now because they are copywriting a bunch of videos off YouTube. The company is, at least, not the book. But it all started with this tweet from this guy, the Ducky Gamer. Uh, he tweeted out, I just got a copyright strike from having the phrase world record in a four-year-old YouTube video. Guinness World Records themselves struck down the video. I can't even fight this question mark. So apparently they took down the guy's video and didn't just copyright it and take all the money from it. They took it down and gave this guy a strike on his channel, which is pretty insane. I mean, I've gotten a strike and that sucks. I don't, I'm, it's like permanent. And if you get three of them, you get your fucking channel terminated. So bad, 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 not good for him. And then it gets worse. They kept going on the little raid of theirs, taking them all down. Over here, see, we have another tweet from Laserbeam tweeting about how one of his old Fortnite videos from like, what, five years ago was taken down by Guinness again for just having their logo in the thumbnail. I mean, which, I mean, it's fine because legally he can't have a logo in his thumbnail but most companies are cool with it because they're not fucking douche canoes and don't take down videos just for having their fucking logo in the thumbnail and laser beam continued down here saying my first copyright strike so i'm fine on this front usually it's community guidelines that get me but yeah i bet he's not used to getting copyrighted because i bet he's usually the safer type when it comes to this and then we have another tweet here from what looks like a Roblox YouTuber who also had it in their thumbnail retweeting Laser Beam also gotten taken down. I mean, he I've never heard of him, but he must be a big deal because, well, actually, I forgot. You can fucking buy Twitter verification now. How many followers this guy got? I mean, he's relatively popular. I've never heard of him, though, but he got taken down for having the Guinness thing in his thumbnails. So if you're watching this and you make YouTube videos yourselves, make sure you take anything relating to Guinness World Records out of your thumbnails and titles because they will copyright strike you and that will fucking suck. And also with the Guinness situation, a lot of people have been misunderstanding. I got this from watching Ludwig's video on it, that how Guinness works nowadays. They don't just make books anymore. Now they're a company and you can't just get a representative out to you and get them to watch your world record like you used to and like how youtubers make it look like what you actually have to do is you can submit a video to their website and it costs anywhere from ten dollars to five hundred dollars depending on what relevancy you want to be like if you spend more money submitting it it will be higher up on their little chain of command to see your video but if you want an actual representative to come out and watch you do your world record it can cost anywhere from twelve thousand dollars to half a million dollars that is ridiculous and apparently is because guinness now is the, these they're more like how do i put it they're just a sponsorship program now the only reason they exist is really all their money comes from them going out and making brands or not brands making deals with youtubers and companies to film them doing a world record and they just have a representative there and they get paid millions for it and they also got into some hot water not too long ago. I saw this from Ludwig's video for teaming up. Okay, yeah, they teamed up with that one fucking empire, Turkmenistan, which is basically a dictatorship. They teamed up with their dictator or leader to make a world record for like most marble in their city, which they got some flack for that. I might as well throw that in there since Ludwig did in his video. Gotta be informative as possible. But there's also some people here that are now like full time record breakers. Like, I don't know if they get paid for it, but that's literally what they do all day. They just break world records for Guinness, which is pretty insane. I just wanted to throw that in there as well. Also going on is all the stuff with 
Kai Suna and his little riot that, well, not, I shouldn't say his riot. He didn't do it on purpose. He fucking wanted to do a fan meetup, apparently, and they just lost their shit. And it's completely wild. As you can see here on screen, someone literally shot a music video at the riot, which is fucking crazy. That's, I mean, it's funny. I mean, not the fact that a riot happened. That's not funny. But making a music video at the right is pretty funny. Let's be honest here. But yeah, basically what happened was he set up a fan meetup, hyped it up on stream. And this guy's basically a mainstream celebrity at this point. This guy, Kai Sinat, is literally like on the level, like A-list celebrity. Like most people know who this motherfucker is. And he had a giant fan meetup and it just went absolutely wild. A giant riot broke out. Literally people was like this dude fucking dancing on cars and shit absolutely ridiculous breaking cars like destroying shit this is insane what happened here absolutely insane what else do i have i have another little tweet here yeah look, i'm putting it on screen look how many people were here just swarming this guy this is out of control and apparently from what i've heard the area in which he had his meetup the police are pressing charges against kai Sinat for orchestrating this quote unquote I mean, he really didn't do this on purpose. I don't think he deserves anything serious, but I don't also think he will get any serious punishment here because let's be real, he didn't do anything like out of malice. Like he wasn't trying to be a fucking douchebag, you know? Also going on is Mr. Beast Burger lawsuit. Mr. Beast is sued. And you may think that Mr. Beast is getting sued because it says, because I'm saying Mr. Beast Burger lawsuit, but no, he is suing Mr. Beast Burger, if that makes any sense. So basically, Mr. Beast did not own the Mr. Beast Burger company. It was like a fucking collab that they did where this company, I don't know what it's called. Hold on, let me find out real quick. Virtual Dining is what the company is called that he is suing for... It looks like he's just not satisfied with how it's going. So basically how these companies work is he, well, the company that he's correlated with buys out a bunch of small kitchens that aren't like name brand shit. And they make Mr. Beast burgers and deliver it through Postmates, Uber Eats, shit like that. They Postmate it, send it to people's houses through these little kitchens. And it makes money for the little kitchens and makes money for mr beast but the problem is the quality varies a lot like there's some people that say the mr beast burger is probably the worst thing they've ever had and some people say it's the best thing they've ever had and mr beast is saying in his lawsuit that apparently the company that is running mr beast burger is not is focusing on the wrong things they're focusing on branding and spreading their influence but mr beast wants more of it to be based on the quality of the actual food and a little side note that I got from the video where I'm like getting most of my information from Turkey Tom's video on second channel, Carl's burger, which is not really a burger. It's more of just a grilled cheese sandwich is a whopping fucking 2,300 2, calories. I don't like, I don't even understand how you fit 2,300 calories into a grilled cheese sandwich. How does that even work, people? Can someone tell me in the comments how the fuck do you fit 2,300 calories into a grilled cheese sandwich? And Carl also explained why he wanted a grilled cheese on the menu. And in Turkey Tom's video on it, he kind of flamed Carl. And I found it pretty funny, so I'm gonna pull it up here and play it for you guys because I think it's pretty fucking hilarious. You might just hear the audio, but it's pretty funny. He kind of flamed him. See, you know, you know, mine is, was made by me because I don't like red meat. <laughs> okay. Oh, I get it. I get it. Really? <laughs> I guess I could tell that because there's not an ounce of testosterone in this guy's fucking body. I mean, look at this fucking kid. Look at this guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't like red meat. That's like I'm a kid. I'm a child. I'm a, I'm a child. Is it shocking that this guy doesn't like red meat? Okay, listen. Maybe I'm maybe I'm sounding a little bit hypocritical here considering, you know, the swag that I was putting on for a bit, okay? I but yeah, that's basically it. Pretty fucking funny shit. I thought I got quite the chuckle when I saw that for the first time. 
But yeah, that's basically what all that's going on right now. I just want to make this video and update you guys real quick on everything that's going on because you guys seem to really like the commentary style that I've been doing every other day. So I think I'll keep it up. I think I'll just keep letting you guys know what's going on. Leave a like, comment, and share and do all that shit. If you want me to keep making these types of videos, it really actually helps. You may not think it helps, but it really does help when you just leave a like. Just leaving a like boosts it in the algorithm and it helps me get out there. If you really want me to see me succeed and all that good shit, just drop a like, please. I'm begging you, please. Just kidding. But also follow my other social medias like my Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, because I post memes on my Instagram and TikTok and highlights from my videos. If you're just more of the type of person that wants to see just the best part, go ahead and follow me there. And also follow me on Twitch because I stream a lot and you get to see more of a raw version of myself. And I'm streaming tonight. So go check it out. Go follow me right now. As of this video goes up, I might be streaming as of this video being up. So go follow my Twitch right now. Uh, with that being said, I want to thank all of you guys for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good shit. Yada, yada. I already said it. I'll see you guys in the next one.